fact is that President Biden and Vice President Harris have had a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad year. And they did this to themselves. Well, it has been over a year since Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and the Democrats took control of all the government here in D.C. They like the fact that they've got their hands on the drivers and they're enacting their policies. But what is so interesting, as my colleague from Iowa was pointing out is they continue to try to blame Donald Trump and Republicans for the issues that are in front of us. Now, just a few years ago, if you had asked me how I would evaluate a government that spent their way into inflation, record-breaking inflation, surrendered our border to the drug cartels and abandoned two embassies, I'd tell you that that sounds like an administration that is in disarray. I think most people would believe that to be a fact. But here is the problem. We've moved beyond disarray. How can anyone be expected to plan for their future if they're struggling to plan for next week's grocery run? They're paying a premium just to live. Meanwhile, the president is asking them to sacrifice even more so he can check some more boxes on his to-do list that is all about this leftist agenda. It's not about the people. It's about power. It's about control. Young Americans, and I would say all Americans, Tennesseans deserve better than this. They deserve leaders who have a vision for the future of this country. Allies in Congress are ready to make things even worse. They're doubling down. And this is what happens when you try to force an agenda filled with pet projects that the American people are telling you they do not want. Joe Biden and the Democrats have been in power for more than a year. The window for blame shifting and excuses is closed. It is shut. It is time for the president to abandon this self-destructive agenda and give the American people a fighting chance at reclaiming their own vision for the future.